Speak Cowboys Nation. Let's go for another round of news from the Team of America. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. The Dallas Cowboys could soon sign a two-time Pro Bowl star to a major contract. As John Makoda of The Athletic writes about in his column regarding Cowboys players in line for contract extensions, wide receiver CeeDee Lamb could receive a deal that pays him in the $25 to $30 million range. Makoda notes that the top five paid wide receivers in the league average $24 million annually. The top 10 highest paid wide receivers all make at least $20 million per season, writes Makoda. The top five average at least $24 million per season. Miami's Tyreek Hill is the highest paid at $30 million per year over four years. Look for Lamb's next deal to pay him in the $25 million to $30 million per year range. It's difficult to imagine the Cowboys not doing everything in their power to keep their number one wide receiver. Cowboys likely to sign C.D. Lamb to extension over Tag Lamb's current contract. He's still in the midst of his rookie deal, pays him $4.5 million for this season, which is just the 46th highest figure among all receivers. The last year of his deal will pay him roughly $18 million, but that is still far below what he's projected to earn. Makoda stresses that Dallas could opt to use the franchise tag after the final season of Lamb's deal at the conclusion of the 2024 season. However, that's an unlikely scenario and the Cowboys are instead likely to sign him to a contract extension. He is entering the fourth year of his rookie contract, writes Makoda. The Cowboys have exercised the fifth-year option on that deal, which keeps him in Dallas at least through 2024. The fifth-year option would pay Lamb just under $18 million in 2024. The Cowboys could use the franchise tag on Lamb after the 2024 season, but that seems unlikely. Why C.D. Lamb is due for big contract according to Spatrack, Lamb's market value is $22.5 million per season for a total of $90.3 million across four seasons. That would make him the 10th highest paid receiver in the league. Other comparable players, based upon age, contract status and stat projections, are Chris Godwin, D.K. Metcalf and Terry McLaurin. Godwin earns $20 million annually, while Metcalf and McLaurin each earn at least $22.8 million annually. Through his first three seasons, Lamb already has two 1,100-yard seasons under his belt and ranked number six in receiving yards and touchdowns last season. He has 260 catches for 3,396 yards and 20 touchdowns during that time frame. By comparison, Godwin had 179 catches for 2,700 yards and 17 touchdowns during his first three seasons with Metcalf posting 216 receptions for 3,170 yards and 29 touchdowns with McLaurin racking up 222 receptions for 3,090 yards and 16 touchdowns during similar time frames. Considering he is Dallas' go-to receiver and the fact that the franchise is well-known for paying their top receiving options, Amari Cooper previously received a $100 million contract extension that paid him $20 million annually back in 2020 it's fair to expect Lamb to receive an even richer deal than the $22.5 million annual value that he's projected to be valued at. In other words, Makoda's projection of $25 to $30 million annually is probably the most likely contract for Lamb. What do you think of Lamb's contract extension? Leave your opinion it's very important for the Dallas Cowboys.